Welcome to a very special Around the Peninsula. I'm Maria Soreo, and it is Whale of a Day. Now, this is a sponsored event by the city of Rancho Palos Verdes and the docent group Los Serenos Day Point Vicente. Now, it takes many people every year to make this event happen. So let's go catch up with Mona Dill and Corey Linder, and they will tell us how. So we start about a year ahead of time just talking to different organizations. We love going to other ocean festivals, and we kind of see if we can get some of those folks to come out too. So it's a year-round adventure. You know, I notice that the booths are always different. They're changing so people can come out and see something new too. Yeah, I think that's what kind of makes it fun. All right, now, whale watching is, of course, very important here. Have you ever seen whales out here? Well, we absolutely have. In fact, you can just watch them right from the shore, which is great. We always say whale watching, and people think they're going out on the boat, but really you can just see them from the shore. Well, and it's cool because I know you have a lot of the binoculars and things out there that people can actually go and see far out into the ocean. Yeah, that's great. They can just check them out at the counter and uh, they see what they can see. We're always looking for that heart-shaped blow that a uh, Pacific gray whale leaves behind. Okay, now, there's so much going on at Whale of a Day. What is your favorite part of Whale of a Day, Mona? I say this every year, but honestly, it's all the organization and groups come here, love the ocean, and they have ocean and marine-themed items. And I think it's so great that you have so many like-minded people coming to celebrate the gray whale. And that, that's what I love about it. And everybody is in such a good good spirit of mind to celebrate the whales, too. So, Now, how many volunteers do you, do you need every year to put this together? So we have our Los Serenos docents, so that we have about 100 volunteers that are membership, part of their membership. And then we also have a lot of students that come and volunteer as well. And we, we always have places for them, so we just take on as many as would like to come. Tell us when you start planning and how this all comes together. Uh, the first meeting for next year's will probably be uh, Monday. Okay. <laughs> but but it, it does take a, a year-long event. I mean, uh, once one event's over, we start looking and seeing how we can make it better, how we can make it more efficient, how we can make it uh, a better experience. So it, it, there's uh, ongoing meetings throughout the year, um, but obviously as you get closer to the event, things start ramping up quick. <laughs> Whale watching and taking the census takes many volunteer hours. Now I'm gonna throw it over to Liz Brown Swanson who catches up with an expert on the subject. Liz. Talk about today, Whale of a Day. This is one of the most exciting days here. Yeah, this really is. We've been doing this at the Interpretive Center in this area for our 34th season. And Whale of a Day is designed to be celebrating the migration of the gray whale. It's often chosen so it's very close to the peak of the migration. And this is our biggest week of gray whale so far. We actually had 41 northbound yesterday and three southbound, which is a really good number for this time of year. We've had uh, six, five sightings earlier of 18 whales, including a pod of five, which is a large group, but they also had a pod of eight and they were breaching and they were rolling and all kinds of great stuff until they got swallowed by the fog. Then the fog opened up for about 45 minutes and we had a single northbound whale. So, so far we've had 19 today. Talk about your passion for the whales. You've been doing this for a while. I've been doing this for a long time. I started this full-time uh, census project, which is the only full season gray whale census project in the world, January 1st, 84. And didn't know 34 years later we'd still be doing it. We have only, it's only successful because we've got a dedicated group of volunteers who will come here sunrise, sunset, uh, bad weather, good weather. We're here from um, seven days a week and it's only possible again because of the dedication of our citizen scientist volunteers. So it's amazing. And they say location, location, location. The interpretive center, the back patio is the spot. It absolutely is. It's a place where the uh, cliff juts into the sea. So the whales that are coming southbound might come from Point Magoo, hit this area and rest here, mill around perhaps, maybe rest with their calves. And as they're going north, they often will pause here too and spend some time socializing. We might see mating, we might see nursing, all kinds of interesting activities. So it's an ideal spot for the whales. My name is Robert Perry. I'm a docent at Los Serenas for the last oh, 20, 21 years. And uh, this is our prized possession, one of our prized exhibits. It's a, uh, uh, it's a Yankee whale boat. It's probably the only one on the West Coast. It is, it is a prize. It is in good shape still, but heat is taking its toll a little bit, but it is still a prize. People were coming in here after I was showing some of the junior docents 
because I wanted them to touch some of these things. And the other people said, is this really? I mean, I can really touch this boat? I said, yeah, come on, you can touch the boat. This event brings out so many families every year. I know you have your kids. Just talk a little bit about this being a family event. This is a fantastic family event. Just all the residents of the peninsula love coming out here. It's a great day to enjoy, you know, just seeing the whales, just seeing them uh, do their migration. It's just such a sight to see. And, you know, they have so many great activities here. They have bounce houses, um, other activities to just help kids learn more about um, the nature here and just marine life and just so many things. So I know my kids here are so excited. Yeah. They are just going crazy here at PVIC, wanting to learn more about every single kind of whale here. And it's just a great event. You know, they have been having such a good time going to see you know, the docents and seeing all the little fur skins and just so many activities. So it's just, I think, such a great community event for the peninsula and you know, one that I believe so many of the residents look forward to every year. I'm here with some really fun whale watchers. Are you enjoying whale of a day? Oh yeah, we're having a great time. Do you like the whales? Yeah. Are you looking at pictures of the whales? Yeah, and well, and this building. So uh, we can see the whales, but it's, a, it's in the water. That's true, they're in the water. Yeah. So what do you think of this, your first time coming? Oh yeah, we're having a great time so far. We just ate a delicious cheeseburger. We're excited to see what else there is. <laughs> All right, well go have fun out there. Have a whale of a time. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, that will do it for today's show. Thank you so much for joining us at this year's Well of a Day. I'm Maria Sorreo, and it's time for me to go get some cattle corn. We'll see you next year.